Okay, you guys, uh, here we are here with uh, the Yamaha Warrior. It's a uh, 2000, right? Yeah. 2000 Yamaha Warrior 350, uh, also known as the YFM, I believe. Um, so today we're uh, changing out the front brakes. As you guys recall, I probably told you guys that the quad was running and everything, but the, it had no front brakes. Basically, I think this one was the one that was shot. So we ordered new uh, front calipers and um, they come with brake pads so that's good and then I'm going to show you guys how to also um, uh, lead the brakes and uh, you know run fluid through them so that we can clean them out. So on this side this is uh, what we got out of this one it's like brown uh, so it definitely needed to get flushed and then we're going to flush them again when um, we do the other side so we could do it together. So first off, uh, we need to take off the wheel. That good? Yeah. All right, after you take off the wheel, just put it aside. Um, you're going to have two bolts, one right here on the bottom, and um, this one right here. Yep. And then this is going to be another bolt that you need to take off for the brake line, and that should be it. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's a 14 millimeter, right? It's actually a 12. 12? Yeah. 12 millimeter to take those off. And the wheel is a 14, right? Yes, yes. And the wheel is a 14. Turn it so you can gain some access in there. Hell yeah. Yeah, basically we went riding a couple days ago and he was riding out there with no brakes. Oh, he had it with back brakes, and then once he used the back brakes too much, um, it started um, bleeding out pretty much the brake fluid. From uh, you think it's gonna leak again or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll just put that one. Okay. Yeah. Shouldn't leak that much. Here, go. You want another ratchet? Uh, yeah, I might have to. I took it off with the impact on last time, but. Yeah, I'm gonna big one. <laughs> Damn, that thing's on there tight. Alright, you guys, we finally got the um, bolt loose for the the brake line. We had to put it back on to the, the spindle there and pretty much um, loosen it with a hammer while it was on. Damn, look at that. That was dirty. Dirty, rusty. Yeah. Get off, bitch. Should we bleed the brakes out? Oh, shitty one? Yeah. Let's see. Can you see? Yeah, that one was more. Was more. It's cleaner though. Oh. That one leaks out more though than that one. Yeah. Alright. Uh, did we get the. Where's the other one? I forgot what it's called too, but it's it's called um I don't know, it's just a bleed bo bleeder bolt because it has a holes and shit. Yeah, it has a hole in it. But that's what it usually is always on the the caliper and everything. And then remember to put the little washer so one goes with the bolt, a washer, and then the brake line, and then the washer, and then the caliper. So what we're gonna do is pretty much put the the brake line on first. So then that way it's easier to it's because the there's a little guide and the brake line has to be oh that's what you did, yeah it has to be like that. Oh okay, I think. I think. Yeah, so it has two little things like this, so you're supposed to put in between there. That should be good. And then uh Pretty much just make sure 
Also, the, the brake pads on this side are going over the, the rotor there. And then um, it, that goes behind it, and then this goes on the front. Okay. You want me to turn? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And then you're putting the two bolts back in. check like that as of right now if they work before we should have showed you guys but you could spin the wheel or the the wheel pretty much without it breaking hit the brakes now still got to bleed the brakes so as you can see they don't work they have air leaks even with him holding the brakes all the way so that's what we're gonna do next we're gonna make sure here we have a um, brake fluid if not, you can get some. I think it's just um, dot four brake fluid. You can find it anywhere, pretty much Walmart, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, the dealer. Okay. You want to take the top off? So we're just going to fill it up. Oh, it's already pretty full, pretty huh? Pretty full, yeah. All right, so it's loose. I'm going to pump it a couple of times. As you can see, it's draining. You hold it, then tighten it. Tighten it all the way. That's good. All right, and then I have it held, so then it holds in the pressure. Now it feels way tighter. Before it was super loose. Now it actually is a little stiffer. So now let's do the other side. Oh, my leg. Oh, shit. So... We're going to loosen this one again, and I'm going to be hitting the, the brake like this until I see fluid. I might take a, loosen a little bit more. Oh, there you hear it. Spotsy, spotsy. No? No. Maybe we need more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we... This thing's like too tiny, so we got to keep putting fluid in it because they were pretty much leaking, so there's like nothing hey, in it. pretty big. No, it's the same. Size? Yeah. So loosening this back up, we're going to put more oil in it, and then we should be good. And then we should just need to top it off one last time. Because, yeah, there's no oil, so, or at least it's not enough oil. Yeah, it's a little, a little empty there. Not really, but it still has, needs a little bit more. Empty. Good. Can you pull it out a little bit? And you want to make sure this is like that. We'll pull it a little I bit. I pulled it in on my mistake. Fucking head ass. Put that thing up. Yeah. It's supposed to be a little bit out. No? No, but like, open it more. There you go. Ah, that's good enough. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. So it needs to be pushed out so it can push the fluid. Then we'll put the two screws back on. So then that way it'll... Alright. Loosen it back up? Yes, unloose. Oh yeah, it's just... Alright, tighten it. <laughs> it's a squirter. Squirter. Alright. There, there, that's good. All right, now you hold the the brake. I'll hold it. Yeah. So we're still we still need to leak air a little bit. Let me see the eight. Let me just try this one because since we got air in that one. Keep holding it. Yeah, hold it. Oh. 
All right, pump it a couple of times and then hold it. So as you guys saw, a bunch came out. All right, now hold it. Yep. Still nothing. All right, now I'm gonna do this side again. Keep holding it? Or? Yeah, probably still have there, dude. All right, pump it a couple of times. And then hold it. Hold it. All right, does it feel stiffer? Yeah. Yeah? Bit. Hold it. So it's still not catching. This one is like pretty much, kind of. Yeah? Like better than that one. <laughs> yeah? All right, let me, do, let me do this one one last time. Hold it? No. Let it go? Or yeah, hold it? Holding it. Oh, Jesus. Did you see that? Alright, pump it a couple of times. And then hold it. Holding it. Alright, hold it. Holding it. No, it's still a little bit off. What about that side? It's locking up more? Maybe it's one of the brake lanes over here. There, look at this one's locking up. Yeah. Maybe now? Check. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I think he just still had to hit it a couple of times for it to work. Yeah. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah, look. Now you got front brakes, dude. <laughs> Hold it. Oh. Nowhere, buddy. Nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere, buddy. Nowhere, man. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much that's it. Hopefully it won't be too long of a video on how to do it. Um, but the bolts were pretty crusty on this one. And now you can just put on your uh, wheels back and uh, you're all set to go riding again. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.